Hello my friends, our title for today is Quenching the Quarrel. My friends, is there any time you were forced to break your gadgets, banged on the wall, pulled your hair just because the quarrel was very cruel and injustice? Or is there any time you were unable to make your office manager or your spouse or someone understand what you felt and you burst into tears or went mad with them? Or is there any time your intended amicable conversation became dispute, quarrel, just because they did not want to tell the truth? Our scripture comes from Proverbs chapter 20 verse 3. It is to one's honor to avoid strife, but every fool is quick to quarrel. My friends, when an argument can be a healthy part of a relationship, it is easy to take things too far and potentially say something you will regret. In such an instance, you will find yourself in the middle of an argument that must be stopped immediately in order to prevent emotional damage. If you sense that an argument is getting out of hand, find a way to stop it from getting any worse. The question for today is how to quench the quarrel or how to manage conflicts. Bible leads you into three scriptures. Number one, Proverbs 10, 19. Take pause. My friends, when your spouse do not understand where you are coming from and trying to doubt or dispute or argue and trying to abuse you with suspicious words, don't try to be agitated or angry, annoyed or frustrated. Rather, just pause the conversation and physically walk away from the place and the situation. Do not hurt yourself by hearing too many lies, too many concealing events. Just tell him or tell her to leave you alone for some time. Don't retrieve the conflict or conversation with the same sense of anger. Number two, Proverbs 17, 14. Terminate the conversation. My friends, the second practical way to stop the conflict or quarrel is to stop it once you found that he or she is lying. Don't let you be fooled much more. There is no point in continuing the quarrel or dispute or argument or conversation if there is no truth and honesty in the conversation lest you will regret the way your spouse was making up the stories just to convince you. Leave it to the Lord. Let the Lord deal with it. Quarrel would not last long if the fault was only on one side. It takes two to quarrel, but one to stop it. Let it be you who terminates the quarrel, because there is no use if they lie to you. Number three, Isaiah 43, 18. Take not the past. My friends, during any conflicts or any commotions or disputes or quarrel, do not take the past bitterness. Don't bring back what was forgiven, what was let go, what was agreed, what was settled. Many arguments end in separation or divorce is because they brought the past experiences. Mother Teresa says, Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow has not yet come. You have only today. Please begin with hope. Your past left only scars and lessons. Learn it to perfect your presence. Here is the hope for you from Proverbs 13 verse 3. Those who control your tongue will have a long life. Opening your mouth can ruin everything. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, there is somebody here crying because of their past bitterness. 
they are unable to control the conflict. The quarrel becomes dispute and the dispute becomes argument and the argument brings misunderstanding and misunderstanding brings separation. Please save your people and bless them dear Lord. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. God bless you.